Hey, what's up everyone? So today we're going to be taking a look at Kefka. He's a marksman type character and his playstyle is about as crazy as he looks. Kefka is a pretty unique character and he can be difficult to play, but seems like a type of character who can be really strong if you master him. Similar to Cloud, his unique ability is that he can charge his attacks, giving them additional properties like increased range if he charges them for long enough. Kefka is able to glide while charging his attacks though, so he doesn't have to worry about being immobile when charging. Instead, his charging is more for mind games and faking out your opponent. He can mix up the timing on everything, and because charging generally increases the range of an attack, it can be really tricky for an opponent to know what to expect out of Kefka. His moveset continues in that vein and includes a Faraga attack that will randomly speed up or slow down and get slightly bigger, a move that spawns a fake core that hurts opponents when they get close, and a long range but slow AoE in Ultima. Kefka can also be really strong if he's left alone, as he has a Thunderga attack that shoots out a maximum of 8 mid-range projectiles when fully charged for a lot of damage. Kefka's X skill is pretty unique and can be really strong no matter who your teammates are. It's called Heartless Angel and it can apply up to 6 debuffs on nearby enemies. If you don't charge it at all, you apply Confusion, which is a debuff that reverses movement inputs for 5 seconds, and Silence, which prevents X skill activation for 10 seconds. If you charge the X skill to the next level, you apply 2 more debuffs, Darkness, which just darkens the screen for 10 seconds, and Kappa or Imp status, which reduces attack and defense for 20 seconds. If you charge it a second time, you get the maximum effect from your X skill, applying the two final debuffs. Sleep, which makes the character inoperable for 2 seconds, and Poison, which deals 800 bravery damage over 20 seconds. So it's a lot to keep up with all those statuses at once, but basically know that there are 3 levels to his X skill that you can get to by charging up the attack, and it can get insanely powerful if you can get to this third level, especially getting that sleep debuff. His X skill can really be a game changer as it can allow teammates or Kefka himself to move in safely and pick up some kills. The first match we're going to check out here is by a YouTuber named Chanima, a top ranked Kefka player. Let's jump right into this first match here and I'll talk about his HP attack choice, Hyperdrive. Alright, so Kefka has a few different good HP attacks here. Like I said, this one we're going to see here is called Hyperdrive. And it's basically just a long range HP attack similar to Garland Tsunami or Fearon's Lord of Arms, just kind of a straight long line. One unique thing about it is that he can charge it like he can with all his bravery attacks and it's going to increase the range of the attack. So it can be pretty strong. So in this first game, we're going to have Kefka, Cloud, and Titus going up against Shantoto, Garland, and Lightning. So even teams on both sides, one Marksman, one Assassin, one Vanguard. This map is pretty big and open, so it should be a pretty good match here for Kefka. Alright, so he's going to start off using his common attack there, and actually I'm going to pause real quick and let me just say... I'm probably going to do a couple of pauses in this match just because his bravery moveset is so unique. I'm going to feel like I'm going to have to explain each one and all the different properties of the attacks. So I'll go ahead and get that out of the way in this first game and then in the future games we shouldn't have to pause quite as much. So I just want to point out that uh, Meteor attack you kind of see in the distance. It's just a long range um, AoE attack that he can kind of throw out um, to kind of poke at people at last for kind of a long time. So it's a nice move for a long range attack. This Blizzaga attack that he's shooting out right here. Um, just a long range tracking attack that he can use just kind of at a distance here. So he's just kind of throwing out his long range moves here while both teams are kind of far away from each other. So now he's moving in here. He's trying to use his Thundaga attack, which is just a medium range projectiles here. Not going to connect on anybody. He throws out that hyperdrive though. Does actually connect there on Garland while Garland is kind of focusing elsewhere. Picks up a little bit of HP damage there. You see him throwing out that Meteor once again, connecting there on Shantoto at a distance. Trying to attack Lightning here, not going to connect with anything though. And you see him throwing out that Fire Gut attack, this is the one I was talking about. So basically it's going to move, you know, at a steady speed, normal projectile, for a little while, and then um, it'll just randomly stop, go start moving slower and get a little bit bigger, and then after a little while, randomly, once again, start moving fast again. So it just kind of mixes up the timing and speed, so it makes it really hard to dodge that projectile. And it tracks for kind of a long time, so it's just a nice move to kind of zone people out. So you see it's going to connect there on Lightning, building up Kefka's Bravery quite a bit. He's going to use it there on the core here, just trying to do a little bit of core damage. He and Titus are both moving in on Shantoto. You see him throwing out that Fire Guy. You see it chasing her down there. It sped up and actually caught her and dealt some damage there. Now he's got his eyes here on Garland, tries to throw that Hyperdrive, but because of the kind of cliffs on this map, it's not going to connect here. He's going to use his Dash Attack there, which just gives him a little bit of movement, moves him out of the way. And now he's just kind of dueling here with Garland. You see him moving away. Trying to throw out that hyperdrive there, he charged it for a little bit because he saw his Cloud player move in, hoping Cloud might be able to lock Garland down, but there's no luck there. So now he's just kind of sticking with his team here. Um, once again, he and Cloud are trying to double team Garland. You see Kefka throwing out this hyperdrive, kind of just hoping that Cloud's going to be able to lock down Garland. 
Um, Garland is going to do a good job of dodging, though, so Garland um, isn't going to get hit by an HP attack. Kefka was trying to throw it out, but he actually is going to get punished by Garland for doing that. Cloud not able to lock Garland down. So after getting knocked away, Kefka's moving back in here. He uses that Mighty Strikes, which is going to help him build up some bravery here if he can connect with some attacks. He's throwing out that Fire Gun attack there on Chantoto, just kind of throwing out a projectile on her and then moving away. He tries to use Thundercut to zone out Garland. Garland's forced to move back. And you see him once again throwing out that Fire Gun. You see it chasing down Garland. Um, still trying to connect with Hyperdrive on him, but not going to be able to. He sees the summoning core here, he's going to attack it just a couple of times to finish off their gauge, now they're maxed out. Looks like one of his teammates is able to pick up a kill there on Shantoto as well, putting the blue team ahead. Both teams are going to try to summon here, red team's actually going to do it all concurrently and get theirs out first, so the red team is going to have Shiva active um, for the time being. So Kefka just kind of moving back here. So Kefka's using one of his other attacks here, um, it's Ultima attack. It's basically a long range AoE, it can be a bit delayed but it deals a ton of damage and has a pretty big uh, radius so it can be a really strong move there. And it looks like blue team is picking up another kill there on lightning. So Kafka just trying to throw out some support here, you see he just used that Meteor, still throwing out Ultimas, um, throwing out some long range fire gun attacks here, just kind of trying to be a nuisance for the red team. So it looks like Shiva's attack is on him, Shantoto actually connected with her fireball attack there on Kafka. Garland was locking him down in this um, diamond dust attack here. So right when Kefka looks like he's about to get attacked, he's actually going to use his teleport skill to avoid um, this diamond dust attack. It's going to put him right in the middle of the red team here, so he's immediately going to use his X skill, charge it up to the third level, and then let it go. So you see all the debuffs here on the red team here. They've got all six of the statuses I was telling you about. So you see the Brave Rears ticking down, um, they're going to have trouble seeing the screen because it's darkened. This is going to allow blue team to summon out Shiva here. They're going to have a huge advantage for the next 20 or so seconds. So you see Kefka's just moving in now, um, blue team's going to try to hunt for this last kill. He's going to use that hyperdrive once again, um, not connect on anybody though. Uh, he moves out of the way of Shantoto's HP attack and just starts throwing out that Blizzga. It's one of his longest range attacks here, so he's just dealing a little bit of damage here. And you see the braveries of the red team have dropped really low here. So um, looks like everybody's moving towards Shantoto. Um, Kefka's actually going to charge up and pick up an HP attack there on Garland. Um, dealing about half of his health bar here. Gonna get knocked away by lightning, but um, moving back in now. He turns his attention towards Shantoto, throws out that Thundaga just to kind of force her backwards. Throws out Hyperdrive once again on Garland, not quite enough damage to pick up the kill though. He's gonna clip Shantoto with a Thundaga attack. Um, looks like he and Cloud are both moving in here. Cloud locking Shantoto down and then Kefka picking up Hyperdrive there on Shantoto. He's trying to finish off Garland, not able to connect with the Hyperdrive on him though, but everyone on Red Team is really low on health, so you see him just throwing it out trying to pick up a kill on somebody. Garland is actually going to get wall rushed right in front of Kefka, so Kefka is immediately going to turn, hyperdrive him, and pick up the finishing blow on him, finishing out this game. So a um, really good performance here by the blue team, a uh, really strong performance here by our Kefka player. This is kind of a fun, fast-paced match to kind of get acclimated with Kefka here. The main reason I wanted to highlight this one, actually, is because I haven't seen a ton of Kefka matches, not really any, and this is actually the very first one that I saw whenever I was watching videos for him. And I just feel like it kind of showcased the hectic playstyle you have as Kafka with all of his different attacks. It's this big open map, so you see him just throwing out tons of fire guns to kind of zone people out, using that Thunder Good to zone people out. Um, but using that Hyperdrive and also that Blizzga Bravery attack and that Meteor Bravery attack just kind of to do long range poke. He was using that Hyperdrive constantly because it has such a long range. It's a really safe bet to kind of force people to move away or just picking up HP damage. He did a ton of like clipping HP damage where he didn't really pick up kills. But he was dealing, you know, 1500 bravery to HP damage to red team members pretty often. So it's just a nice, quick attack that you can use. Also, you get to see the full extent of that X skill of Kefka. As you saw how, after he got it off, it allowed the blue team to get Shiva active. And then it really just kind of forced the red team into a corner. They were all really low on bravery. Because of those debuffs, they were having a hard time seeing or controlling their characters. So they were really were just kind of forced back, had to play super defensively. And blue team's able to just kind of move in as a group, pick them apart kind of isolate Garland a little bit and then allow Kefka to pick up that last kill. So really it's just a great skill to kind of forcibly isolate somebody and just kind of make it difficult for the red team members to help each other out. So yeah, just a really fun match here to kind of give you an idea of how Kefka plays. All right, we're well, taking a look at our second match here. We're going to be switching up YouTubers to one um, named Taka9192. And he's actually going to be having a different HP attack as well called Trine. So Trine is just a targeted HP attack um, just from a distance away. doesn't have quite the range as Hyperdrive does, but it does have two pretty unique factors. 
One is if it actually connects on somebody, it's going to give them that darkness debuff, which darkens their screen for 10 seconds, and also the silence debuff, where they're not going to be able to use their X skills for 10 seconds. Also, the other cool thing is, just like all his other HP attacks, he can charge it, and if you charge it up to two levels, then it's going to actually cast two more times. So, you know, if you charge it to the next level, then try and happens twice. If you charge it to the level after that, you get it three times. So it's actually pretty good, and it can be difficult for your opponents to get away from it if you can charge it enough times. Also, it's a really good zoning tool, kind of forcing them to stay away from you. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this match here. We're going to have Kefka, Cecil, and Zidane for the blue team going up against Cloud, Bartz, and Shantoto for the red team. So kind of similar to last game, we've got balanced teams on both sides with Bartz kind of filling in as that assassin role for the red team, um, even though he's a unique character. And we also have another big wide open map here, so Kefka's going to have free reign to throw out his spells here. So um, this player that we're watching here, he kind of seems to have more of reliance on the uh, Meteor attack. So you see him just kind of using Meteor a lot, just kind of pushing the enemy teams back here, um, just kind of forcing them to run away. He's also going to use that Blizzaga, his other long range attack here, just trying to get some damage here on the red team, using that Meteor once again. Um, you see red team just kind of dashing back to avoid it. Summoning so Stone is about to spawn, you see Kefka move to the other side of it. He's going to use that Blizzaga actually to connect with an attack there on Bart, stealing a little bravery damage and also going through the Summoning Stone there, so actually picking up some core damage as well. He's going to get hit here, knocked away, um, just taking a little bit of bravery damage there. Going to throw that Fire Gut on Cloud, just kind of forcing him to dodge around it. And now he moves into Shantoto's face here, tries to throw out that Blizzga, but isn't quite fast enough to pick up any damage on her. So he moves out of the way pretty quickly before Red Team can do anything about it. He's going to spawn one of those fake cores there. You see Cloud actually move close enough to get hit by it. It's got quite a big range there, so going to deal a little bit of damage there to Cloud. So the Summoning Sword is spawning once again. You see Kefka throwing out that Blizzga around it. That's a pretty good way to deal summoning core damage, but also kind of poke at enemies that are close to you. So now he's just kind of moving away from Shantoto's attack there. He's got a lot of bravery built up. So you see him use that Trine, actually immediately picking up some HP damage there on Bart, dealing a ton of damage there to him. He's going to throw that Thundaga there on Cloud, just dealing a little bit of damage here. He's going to shield Bart's attack here, trying to move out of the way. He's going to take a little bit of HP damage there, though. Shantoto is able to actually pick up um, a hit there on him, but nothing too significant. Now the summoning core is spawning once again, blue team is really close to maxing out the summoning core here, it's probably going to need just one attack, and Cecil's actually going to be there to pick it up. Kefka tries to summon, he's going to get interrupted there by Shantoto though. She tries to summon, so Kefka's going to throw some attacks there on her, connect with his fire gun, which kind of locks her down for a second, and then he's able to follow up with that trine, dealing some HP damage there to her. So blue team's got Shiva now. You see Kefka just kind of moving um, away, sticking with his team here, waiting for everyone to kind of regroup before they go in together. And so now you see him kind of eyeing Shantoto. Um, he's going to use his X skill actually um, just reaching the second level there. You see the debuffs popping up there on Cloud and Shantoto. You see that by their health bars. Now he's trying to throw that Thundaga on Shantoto. Um, he's actually going to connect there, dealing a lot of damage to her while she's in the air. And looks like Zadam was actually able to pick up a kill there on Bart's, putting the blue team ahead here. So... Kefka's still chasing down Shantoto here, and now he's got Cecil moving in with him. He's trying to use that Thundergut to kind of lock him down, allow uh, Cecil to do anything, but um, they weren't able to connect anything on Shantoto. He's going to get knocked away there by Bartz. So now he's moving in again. He's using that Blizzaga from a distance there. Going to deal a little bit of bravery damage there to Bartz, and now he's going to activate that Mighty Strikes, building up the bravery he's going to gain. Those out trying once again there, picking up some damage there on Cloud. You see Cloud kind of fall to the ground there. Now he's going to use that Meteor on top of where Cloud fell. Um, it lasts for so long that Cloud's going to be forced to move away, or else he's going to get hit by that as soon as he recovers. So, kind of a smart little Kefka trick there. Now, he's following behind Cloud. Cloud's pretty low on health here. Red Team's going to try to summon, so he's going to use that Thundaga, um, try to interrupt Shantoto, and then use that Fire Gun to interrupt Cloud. Now, he's going to use Trine here on Cloud. He's actually going to charge it up to the third level here. You see it kind of following Cloud. Cloud tried to dodge out of the way of the second one, which meant he was going to get hit by the third one. So kind of a smart move there by Kefka to try and charge that up, make it really difficult for Cloud to get away. Cloud needed to dash, not dodge. But anyways, picking up a kill there by um, Kefka there on Cloud, so nice job by him. Now you see the red team kind of trying to group up here, trying to uh, knock away Kefka. Um, Bart's going to be able to do that. And now you see Kefka just kind of throw his Fargo there off on Shantoto, picking up a little bravery damage there. With Kefka kind of knocked away here, it looks like Red Team is able to double team Cecil and Zidane, picking up a kill there on Zidane, and then allowing the Red Team to pick up a summon now that Zidane is um, KO'd.
Kefka trying to throw out that shrine once again, not able to connect there on Shantoto as she's able to glide away from um, it with her attacks. He's going to keep throwing it out though, you see he tried to pick up a kill there, but the range of it is so short, not really able to connect with anybody. He's trying to stay far enough away from Shiva's attack so he doesn't get hit by anything, but it looks like Cecil's actually going to be able to pick up a kill there on Bart's, finishing this game off. So, um, great play here by Kefka, really just kind of showcasing this Trine attack, and also just another match to showcase his bravery attacks here, this big wide open map, uh, making it really easy to connect with some of his fire gun attacks, um, because there's no cliffs or anything to really get in the way of that. Um, a great map here for Meteor because it's so flat, so it's able to just kind of cover a lot of ground and just kind of zone enemies out. It'll also last for a really long time, so you saw how useful that was, um, even though it didn't really connect on Cloud when he was knocked down, but the potential for that, and if Cloud, um, you know, stuck around for too long, he would have gotten hit, and it kind of forced him to have to move away in that one instance, so it's kind of a smart little move there by Kefka. But it also was the perfect way to show you the uh, the way that charging Trine can be really effective. How he was able to connect with Cloud with Trine to pick up that second kill. Just because of the fact that he charged it and because it had those three iterations of Trine. So really just kind of smart move there and a cool little HP attack. Alright, so for our last matchup here, we're going to be switching back to our YouTuber Chanima. And using that same HP attack that he was using originally, which is that hyperdrive, that long range um, kind of wave attack. So his team here is going to be Kefka, Cloud, and Lightning. And they are going up against, let's see, Ultimisha, Cloud, and Kane. Alright, so once again, pretty balanced teams here. Um, one thing to note, all six of these characters have really strong projectiles. Lightning's got that Ravager form, um, Kane's got that Tornado, which uh, just connected there on Kefka. So everyone's going to have to be pretty careful here, just kind of throwing out long range poke. You see Kefka not trying to get too close to anybody. He's really kind of focusing on using that uh, really long range Ultima attack that he has. Also throwing out that Fire Aga. Um, you see he connected there on Cloud doing a little bit of damage there. And throwing out that Blizzard good attack as well. Um, he's going to drop that core down just in case someone comes close to him. You see him constantly gliding around though, trying to avoid Ultimisha's long range attacks. You'll see those kind of clouds of arrows, one just kind of popped up right in front of him. That's from Ultimisha, so he's trying to kind of stay mobile and avoid those attacks. He does actually get caught by Ultimisha right there, takes a little bit of bravery damage. So um, still kind of doing that same thing though, you see the blue team's all really kind of sticking together here. And Kefka just throwing out those long range zoning tools. Looks like Kane has kind of moved into the back line here. He gets kind of close to Kefka, Kefka throws out that fake core just in case uh, Kane was going to move in. But he actually gets caught by Kane's um, Cyclone there. He's going to throw out Hyperdrive, actually connect on his Ultimisha for a little bit of damage, but it does reset his Bravery back to 1000, so that's kind of the goal he was going for there, I think. His Faraga attack is going to connect, build up his Bravery by uh, about 900. He's going to throw out that Hyperdrive once again, kind of connect on Cloud from way above. It has a pretty good vertical hitbox, so he actually was able to um, connect with Cloud even though you couldn't really see him. You see him throw out Hyperdrive once again, trying to connect on Ultimisha. He built up his Bravery pretty high after using Mighty Strikes and hitting with a couple Bravery attacks. So now he's trying to kind of expend that and use it on the red team. They are going to be able to back away though, use Shiva, so Kefka's going to have to be a little more defensive instead of just kind of rushing in. You'll probably see him moving away, like you see him doing right now, kind of trying to regroup back over to the right here with his team, and just kind of throwing out some long range hyper drives here, not trying to get too close and kind of allow himself to get opened up by any of those quick characters like Kane. Now once again trying to outrange Ultimisha's attacks there, you see she's trying to hit on him with that um, arrow attack but um, it's not able to connect. Now Kefka is just trying to stay mobile here. He's going to throw out Hyperdrive once again. Not going to connect on anybody though. And now Diamond Dust is about to hit. So you see him trying to move out of the way. Um, Kefka is a pretty slow character though. So he's going to use that teleport ability just like we saw in the first game just to get out of danger there. So now he's going to move away. He's actually going to use his X skill here, but nobody's really in range. He does connect um, that second level there on Cloud, um, but he was the only one. Now you see Cloud pretty disoriented here. Kefka's actually going to be able to hit him with that hyperdrive while Cloud had all those status effects on there, definitely making it a little easier for Kefka to connect with that attack and um, putting the blue team ahead here. Now Kefka's just trying to move out of the way. All three members of the red team are targeting him. You saw him use that dash attack to get some mobility and then he's kind of sat in his shield just kind of waiting for an opportunity to move away. So you see him doing that now. The blue team is all kind of backed up and tried to use their summon so now they're going to have Shiva and we'll be able to see Kefka go a little bit more offensive this time. So he's going to use that Blizzaga, just kind of poking at um, a long range here while Shiva starts up her attack animations. And now uh, you see Cloud kind of looking at him, Kefka's moving away. He's going to connect with a bravery attack there, building up some of his bravery. 
Um, kind of trading with an attack there. Uh, looks like he's trying to use that Thundaga there on Ultimisha, dealing a ton of damage to her, actually building up his bravery quite a bit. He's going to throw out Hyperdrive immediately. Um, Ultimisha is going to be able to dodge out of the way of it, though. And looks like he's going to connect with that Faraga there on Ultimisha, once again building up his bravery a lot. He's pretty much at lethal range now. He's going to throw out Hyperdrive here. Um, not going to connect on anybody, though. Um, looks like Red Team's going to pick up a kill there on Cloud. So Kefka's going to play a little safer here since it's a 2v3 right now. Um, Cloud does respawn though, so you see everyone just kind of grouping up. He uses Mighty Strikes while his teammates are near him, so they all get the buff. Connects with Farago once again, building up his bravery back into lethal range. And now he's going to throw out Hyperdrive, just trying to use up that bravery. Um, not going to quite connect with it just yet. Trying to dodge Ultimisha's um, Strafe attack there. You saw him kind of moving off to the side here. Kane's kind of isolating himself behind the blue team. It's not going to matter though. Looks like Red Team's regrouping up though, and while they do that, Kafka throws out that X skill once again, is going to get level 2 there off on Cloud and Ultimisha. So now he gets knocked away there by Cloud though. Um, going to try and throw out some Thundagas using that Faraga there on Ultimisha. Um, you see it chasing her down. While that's happening, he throws out Thundaga, just building up a ton of bravery off on her. Um, he's trying to make something happen here on Kane. He's got so much bravery. Looks like Kefka's charging up that hyperdrive. Cloud was chasing after him. Looks like Cloud couldn't really quite tell that Kefka was charging his HP attack. So actually able to pick up a quick kill there on Cloud, putting the blue team ahead once again. Now he and Cloud are trying to double team Ultimisha here. He connected with an Ultima there, building up his bravery a little bit. He's going to throw out hyperdrive, picking up some pretty big damage there on Cloud, dropping him under uh, 1000 health already. He's going to charge up that hyperdrive once again, actually throw it out and pick up a kill there this time on Kane. Finishing him off and picking up the victory there for his team. So some really good snipes there with that hyperdrive. You saw him using it quite a lot because it's really, you know, it's not that um, punishing to use because you can glide around while you're using it. So you're not really locked in position. So you're kind of free to just throw it out, hope it can connect and try to pick up kills with that. So really nice play there by our Kefka player. Had a huge score here. He dealt a lot of damage, HP and bravery. Um, you saw him kind of connecting with a lot of different bravery attacks and throwing out that mighty strikes as well, um, allowing him to buff up his damage and just kind of dropping a ton of damage there off on the enemy team. Definitely a good showcase of what Kefka can do. You saw kind of all of the different elements that he has, kind of charging up his HP attack and being really tricky with the mind game and the timing of that. Um, and not just the HP attack, but all of his bravery attacks as well. Um, using that Faraga to kind of chase people down, force them to continuously dash around and, you know, not let them be where they want to be to help out their team or go offensive. You also saw him connect with that X skill a couple of times. The first time, he was only able to connect with the Cloud, but that was enough to pick up a kill on Cloud as, you know, Cloud's movement was kind of screwed up. His screen was darkened, so you saw him just kind of sitting in his shield, not really sure what to do, and Kefka was able to pick up a hyperdrive kill on him. So definitely some really good play here by our Kefka player. So like I said kind of at the beginning of the video, I don't think Kefka particularly fits in any specific team comp, at least um, not right now, just because he's kind of out of the box um, when compared to a lot of other characters because his timings are really tricky and the fact that his X skill really benefits anybody on his team, you know, it's really just a lockdown on the opponents, not really any specific synergy with his allies. So you can definitely fit him in as a marksman character on, you know, a lot of different varieties of teams. He definitely packs a lot of punch and he can kind of take care of himself a little bit better than some other marksman characters just because some of his attacks are pretty quick. He's got that uh, fake core attack, which works as a trap. If anyone gets too close to it, they get knocked away. And he's got that dash attack, which gives him a little extra mobility. He seems like a tough character to master. It's kind of easy watching um, really good players play him. But you can tell that knowing his timings and knowing which attacks to use at any given time and how long you want to charge them up is definitely important to being a successful Kefka. And learning that will take some experience for sure. Also knowing when to use his X skill, you saw our player here really utilizing that teleport into X skill um, ability a lot, just because using that teleport gives you a little bit of invulnerability. People kind of don't know you're coming, so that will allow you to kind of get in the middle of everybody. As soon as they see you're trying to use your X skill, they want to try to get away, so they're not really going to be able to interrupt you. Um, so it's just kind of a, a kind of a mix up there. It kind of really depends, but that's definitely a good way to get in the enemy group. So hopefully that gives you a brief overview of your favorite clown here. Seems like a pretty good character, definitely a tough character to learn, like I said, but um, can definitely be strong in the right hands. I really like his moveset, it's pretty unique, it has a lot of different options, I definitely like his HP attacks as well. Trine seems like it's a really good mix-up attack and just a really strong HP attack in general. So yeah, I definitely think he's a good character. Definitely check out more videos of him, I've got um, our two YouTubers that we followed today, got their channels linked down below in the description, so definitely check them out if you want to see some more Kefka action, they've got quite a few different videos of him. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. We're getting pretty low on the character list now that I haven't already commentated on. 
I'm probably gonna do X Death next, just because you know, kind of going in order now. Um, I try to do Eject after that, and then Ultimisha. So we will see if there's enough videos out there enough for you know Ultimisha and Eject by that point, so that I can show some high level gameplay of them. Otherwise, I might have to wait a couple weeks before I do those. But we will see, and I'll definitely have X Death coming out next Friday. So stay tuned for that. All right, see you guys later, and have a good one.